I'm glad you're still here. I'm waiting. I'm sorry I ran off like that before. You don't have to apologize to no, me. No, Whatever happens, I'm not going to let things change between you and me. Nothing could do that. You really mean that? Matthew, I'm only upset when you are. Yeah, and that has been all the time lately. I just wish I could help you. You do. You, you help me just by being here. Matthew, I, I know you've been confused lately about things that your father did. It's long... just... There's certain things that he did he, he should have told me about. Because he loves you. I guess you don't understand how important that is. Because you've always had a father around. I always dreamed of finding my father. But that never happened. So I don't know what it's like to have a father around to love or be mad at. That must have been hard. Yeah, yeah, it was. Let's not talk about me. I just think that no matter what your father did, what his faults are, how disappointed you are in him, you should think about the good points in him. You always find the good in people. Can't you just forget about the past and be proud of what he is today? He's a successful photographer and is getting married today to the, the woman he loves. Hey, you must be pretty special if a woman like Felicia wants to spend the rest of her life with him, right? Yeah, yeah Felicia's the best. Matthew, they, they'd love to have you there. Jesse, I, I told you. I, I've, I've never even been to a wedding before. You're kidding. It's true, Matt. <laughs> You've never been to a wedding? I haven't been to much of anything, Matt. Come on. You're going to go up, get changed, because I'm going to take you to that wedding. Oh, Matthew! Wow! <laughs> really? I mean, you do like it. Really like it. Wally told me you were a beautiful woman. He wasn't kind enough. Oh, come on. You are a charmer. <laughs> you know, just like Wally. No wonder you were friends. Remember I told you I had something for you? Yes, right. What is it? It's something that's very special to me. And it was very special to Wally. What? Is this your car? No, no. It was Wally's lucky car. Wally? Yes. Whenever he rode to the racetrack in this car, Lady Luck was in the driver's seat. He told me that if anything ever happened to him, you should have it. You were his Lady Luck. I'd like to drive you to your wedding in it, if that's all right. <laughs> yes, it's, it's wonderful. I, I want you to know something. You know, I, I, I wavered a long time in setting a date for this wedding. I, I always loved Mitch, it, it wasn't that, but Something deep down inside of me always seemed to stop me. You know, after Wally died, it was as though nothing was right anymore. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I, I just, oh, thank you. I just felt that that I had lost him forever. And then, and then I ran into you. I'm sure he set that up. <laughs> and you really have helped me to put the pieces somehow in place. God knows I miss a lot. 
But I, I do believe that he's with me. And I know, I know he's with me today. <laughs> Don't you? I thank you, Arnie. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Miss Gallant? Oh, yes, Mr. Gallo. Thank you. Another world. Next, see what evil is sneaking up on residents of Port Charles. Only on SoapNet.